video I'm going to try and explain to you a bit about a coastal a type of coastal transportation called longshore drift. Now you might have heard of longshore drift before and hopefully you can remember it from what you learned in the classroom but longshore drift is a way in which um, pebbles particles material is moved along a coastline by the by the kind of the action and the angle I suppose of the waves and it's the angle of the waves that's really important. Now the main factor that determines the angle of the waves is something called the prevailing wind. And in geography, prevailing just means that the main wind direction. So whichever way the wind's blowing from, and in the UK that's normally southwesterly, um, that pushes the waves up a beach at an angle. Uh, it's very rare that a wave would go kind of up uh, a, a beach at 90 degrees to it, straight up and straight down. The swash would go up at an angle and the backwash at another angle. And it's that zigzag motion of the waves going up and down the beach that will cause sediment to move along it. So you might get some particles that, some pebbles that move all the way along a beach. Now, this long beach that I'm on today, the prevailing wind is coming from the way I'm looking now, just out to see the headland. You can hopefully, if I spin around there, you can see that headland behind me. That's the way in which the wind's coming from today. So um, that's the way the wind's blowing. And if you look carefully, if you watch the waves behind me, hopefully you'll be able to see they're coming up at an angle. And they come up at an angle, but crucially, due to gravity, they come back at 90 degrees and they pull material back down the beach 90 degrees. And as the waves repeat that action over time, up at an angle, back at 90 degrees, up at an angle, back at 90 degrees, that means that material is slowly moved along this beach so it's going to go, if I spin around, it's going to, today it's going to head off in that direction there. That's what longshore drift's about. It kind of, it's a zigzag motion which transports sediment along the beach. One thing in the exam, if I can give you a little tip from being an examiner in the past, one thing in the exam the examiners uh, look out for is the correct zigzag motion. It's really important that you remember the waves go up the beach at an angle and back at 90 degrees to it. It's easy to get it the other way around, going up at 90 degrees and back at an angle. But it's not that way around because gravity will always pull something down at 90 degrees. Um, so that's how, how it works. So that's longshore drift. Um, there are other types of coastal transportation, but longshore drift is one of the main ones. And it goes on to form other features along the coast like bars and spits. <laughs> 